What is up guys? Thank you so much for being here. So today I want to talk about this guy right here and why I think that this brand new 2022 version of the CMMG Banshee is by far the best model that they've ever made. So CMMG, they've been making some of the best air pistols on the market for quite a while. And this one is no different, but in my opinion, it's the best one yet. So let's go ahead and get into the actual features that make this 2022 version so good. This particular one is chambered in nine millimeter, has a five inch barrel and takes your standard Glock mags. The reason I chose this one is because I just think it's the best one. I mean, if you're gonna have a small compact pistol like this, I mean, what's the point in having it chambered in like a rifle mat, r rifle round or something like that? I mean, I know they make them for a reason, right? There's all kinds of different uses for the different ones. But I think if I'm gonna be using this for close quarters, nine millimeter is perfect. Plus it's just like easy to find compared to other calibers and it's typically cheaper than a lot of other calibers. And since the whole point of this setup for me is to have like a small compact package, that's why I went with the smallest barrel length that they have, which is the five inch one, which is technically what nine millimeter is made for. I believe it's like five point something inches that it's optimized for. You're gonna get good performance from the nine millimeter. And again, I mean, what's the point of having an eight inch barrel on here? Yes, you're gonna get a little bit more velocity, um, but to me, it just, if you're gonna buy something like this, for me, the smaller, the better. That's why when I do outfit this whole thing, I'm just gonna keep everything small and light. It's gonna have a small red dot, small little flashlight, and just keep the features minimal because I don't need a magnifier. I don't need any of that. So far, I've just been using a red dot that I took off of one of my 22s um, because I just don't have the money right now to fully furnitureize this thing. But once I do, I'm gonna do a full review of my setup. And the reason why I chose the Glock mag version, because again, they make different versions with uh, Sig mags, with I believe Colt mags, and even like a modified AR mag. I'm not even a Glock guy myself. I don't even own a Glock, I but I don't consider myself like a Glock hater. I just don't really like how they look. But anyways, I can admit when, when a company makes reliable firearms or magazines or something like that. And they tend to be more affordable than a lot of those other companies. Plus you have all kinds of like aftermarket third party Glock mags. And so this right here is an actual Glock mag. I believe it holds like 31 or 33. But then you can also get these ETS mags, which are kind of fun. You know, they're clear. They also hold a large amount, like 33 or 28 or something like that. But anyways, to me, it just makes sense because you have so many options. But I can understand if you own like a SIG or something and you already have a whole collection of magazines um, and you already have some long ones or something like that, why you would want to get it. And in case you guys don't know, like one of the things that makes this gun just so popular and a little bit more expensive isn't just the fact that it's super reliable, which it definitely is. That to me is a must. I mean, I'd rather pay more money and have a reliable gun. Even if you're just getting it for fun, it's not fun if you're having a malfunction even every 100 rounds. That to me is way too much. And especially if you're buying it for home defense, it needs to be more reliable than that. And sometimes your more affordable AR pistols tend to be a little bit more finicky with different types of ammo and that kind of thing. But the reason that this thing is so popular is because it has a radio delayed blowback system. And a lot of your more like budget friendly AR pistols, even some of the ones that are not so budget friendly, like more around a thousand bucks, they just have direct blowback. And so they're just gonna have more recoil. And you'd be surprised how much recoil these things have. I mean, it's not a lot, but they typically are gonna have like the same amount of recoil as like an AR. And even though that's not a ton, for somebody like me, I'm only 135 pounds, a normal AR is not a ton of recoil, but it's still gonna have more effect on me than it would on probably a bigger guy. That was another reason why I chose this guy, because of that uh, delayed, the radial delayed system. It has a little bit less recoil, and that little bit is gonna help me like get on target again and just 
be quicker and more accurate. Now all you guys out there who already own a CMMG Banshee or just know a lot about them are just like, dude, come on, stop talking. We already know what makes a Banshee good, what makes it what it is. And so you just wanna know what makes this 2022 version better. Well, what makes it better is a few things. For one, they redesigned the whole look of it. I mean, the old one looked kind of basic, just like a normal AR9, other than the fact that they did offer like some pretty cool colors, but now they offer even more colors. And then in addition, they actually redesigned the physical like handguard and they added these cool cuts here, all these cool windows and cuts there. And the fact that this comes to a point is just pretty cool looking. But then they also redesigned and created a whole new line of their like CMMG furniture. And they're calling it their CMMG Zeroed. So this is their CMMG Zeroed Ambi charging handle, their Zeroed Ambi selector, which has some cool little cuts in there. And then the Zeroed pistol grip, which I think looks really good and it's really comfortable. And then also this linear comp, this is also part of that line, the Zeroed line. And then they say that the dust cover is as well and the bolt release. But to be honest, the dust cover to me is probably the only part where it's almost like they forgot to add a design to it because everything else has a cool design with uh, cool cuts and just things that just make it look good. And even the magazine release has a big paddle there, which is really nice. But the dust cover, which is part of their CMMG zeroed stuff, but it's just like a plain, polymer dust cover, nothing special to that. But everything else about it, super top notch. I love the design. Um, obviously I love this color cause I could have chosen other colors and they've got some good options. I was a little torn between like some of the new colors that they added and this one, but I decided to go with this. I just, I just like how it looks. Plus I'm more of like an earth tone type guy. I like browns and greens, like dark greens and things like that. Anyways, for me, all these new features just kind of made the difference. I was teetering on the edge for years of really wanting one because of the fact that they have that cool radial delayed blowback system and they're just known for being so reliable and all that. But I was just teetering, teetering. I never thought that they looked that great. And then this just kind of helped push me over the edge because um, I, like I said, I kind of wanted one for a long time but, and I just didn't really have the money, but once I saw this version of it, I just, I found a way because I just couldn't not get it. And yeah, this is mostly just like cosmetic things, but it's not all just cosmetic because some of these things actually make it like function better and you wouldn't want them to change the internals because the internals is what makes this gun so good. And so if they had just redesigned like the handguard and that's it, I wouldn't have been so excited for it. Um, although I still wanted one of these and I still planned on getting one, but it was the fact that they took the time to actually, as a company, not just like go and buy Magpul parts or something like that, but they actually took the time to redesign everything, not just this, not just this, but all the parts and make them more useful too, because you know, this is a really cool pistol grip, like I said, but it also functions well. It's very comfortable. It's got a little, I didn't mention, but it has a little like compartment down here that you can open up and put extra batteries for your red dot or something like that. Um, you know, the fact that these are ambidextrous, this compensator, it looks really cool, but it also is more effective. And the fact that they put this on the handguard, yes, they made the handguard look a lot cooler, but they made it more effective too because it's got its own little hand stop there. Everything looks really good. And to me, I mean, the fact that they're not charging any more than they're charging for the old one, and it looks way better down to the little details of the cuts that are on the uh, selector to everything else we already talked about. So yes, I think that this is by far the best version of the CMMG Banshee that they've ever made. And I'm gonna do a full review once I get this thing totally set up the way I want it with the red dot and everything. And if you think it's sexy now, just wait until I have it totally like customized, then it's gonna look whew, super nice. But anyways, one of the things I forgot to mention is this cool pistol brace because you can see it went right to where I want it. So this is where I like to use it. And normally, you know, you have to squeeze some part of it to be able to close it. And you would have to do the same thing to open it. You have to squeeze it and go to the notch that you want. But with this, it has a little screw that you can set to the distance that you want. And so then when it's closed, you don't have to squeeze anything. You can literally just pull this back and it goes right to the spot that you have it set up you know, so if you want it shorter, I think it goes one further, you can set it up for that. But anyways, that's just really unique because 
it's, if you did, you know, hopefully it never happens, but if you did have to use this in like an emergency situation, obviously you might not even think about that. You might just use it short, but depending on how big you are, cause I'm a pretty small guy and it's pretty small for me to use it um, with it pushed in all the way. And so you, it might not be nearly as effective for you. So you're gonna wanna maybe take that split second to open this. And it's nice that now that's all it takes is a split second. Boom, you have it set to the spot that you want already. And to me, that's a huge feature as well. A little thing, but again, this has a lot of little things that just make a big difference, whether it's in how cool it looks or just how well it functions. With all that being said, I just wanna thank you so much for watching till the end. It actually makes a huge difference for my channel, helps it grow. And also don't forget about the like button. It's like a super small, simple thing that you can do that literally just takes one click. And so I would appreciate that as well. And if you like this kind of content, like anything that has to do with guns, gun reviews, other gear and backpack reviews, I've done all that. So if you like that, definitely subscribe. I have got a good amount of videos on my channel and I'm only gonna put out more in the future. So I would appreciate that as well. And thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.